This is my dad's 86 Ford F-150. Um, we tried to start it a while back when we were cleaning off this 72 one-ton Chevy and uh, it wouldn't start and we couldn't hear a fuel pump running or anything. And we actually had an old fuel pump, a new one laying around and we thought we'd put it in. So we went ahead and did that. And we're gonna put the tank back in and see if it'll start. So. This 86 Ford pickup is one of the first vehicles we put in the shop when we moved into the shop in uh, 2005. So it's never been out. It's, uh, it went through a tornado. Um, it's, we had to put a roof skin on it and driver's bedside and do a lot of work. Um, but it's really slick. It's, Got 70 some thousand original miles to one owner truck and it's just 302 nothing fancy yet but it is a lariat i guess so but but yeah it's uh, got painted and got moved to this end it's never really been anything we wanted to get out and do much with we didn't really have plans on what we was going to do but may i'd like to turn it into a four-wheel drive but I don't know if that ever happened, but, but we're going to put some gas in it here after a while and see if it'll start um, and see what it sounds like. Okay, we dumped the tank out while we had it out, so it was empty, and we got a couple gallons poured in it and some sea foam. We're going to put some more fuel in it before we start it up. Okay. Well, there won't be no prime in it because it's fuel injection, so we'll have to hook the battery up and get the battery hooked up. Check the oil. It's good. Can you get in from over here? Huh? Can you get in over here? You on the front tank? Or the left tank, whatever it is? There we go, did you hear that? Yep. That ought to do it. Well, we still haven't gotten the Ford started yet. We figured out we weren't getting fuel past our high pressure pump. So we finally got a new one of those and we're about to put it on right now. So we'll see if that fixes it. And here's the old one. So I guess. Here's the here's the old pump we took out. 
there's two different size spades on here. There's a wide spade and then one that's narrower. This is the positive side. So that's the red wire. And so they this here new pump come with two spades. We had to bolt them on and then we pushed our wires on and slid those on. So we got it back in its holder, got the insulation pad around it. We're gonna put it in and see what we get for results. Nice. Well, it's making noise, so hopefully it's going to work. I'm going to cycle a key a few times. Okay, we're going to try it. Okay, give her a whirl. Okay, the cycle a few more times. Might take it a bit to get fuel. Means everything's been good. Just try it. Cycle it a few more. I think it's gonna go. Probably gonna run like crap with that old gas. Is yeah. Oh. Hey. thing you know belts brought off of them gaskets fuel pumps quit working and um, we just uh, probably ought to get it out and drive it but we got it stored up here in the end of the shop and there's, well, there's, there's only two, one way out yeah. <laughs> and so but yeah it's a really nice old truck slow mileage and and 
it's just, I don't know, needs a home, maybe a different home someday, but. Pretty nice to hear it run again. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, probably still running on some of the old gas. We drained and flushed the tank the best we could, but some of the fuel line probably still has a little bit of the old gas, so, and it really smelt bad, so. Anyways, that's about all for this video, so. We'll try to make another one of it another time, but. Get in the back and wash it and take it for a drive. Yeah, that'll look, it won't even look like the same truck. But anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.